Uh, absolutely. Um, I was going to say relatively young team, but it might just be, you know, my remembrance. But Yeah, we got um, a lot of freshmen on the roster this year. We have Gavin Molenkoff to send this one away. And the start to the Comets football season is underway. Fielded at the 28. Rob down the middle and the tackle made by 66. That is Levi Martin, the senior. Good stop there. Not a lot of yards on after the pickup. That's what we like to see to start off. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of freshmen, they've really been working on on the defensive side of the ball. It's really corralling the ball. We've had, uh, they were talking about last year, they just had one guy trying to make tackles. and They want to move in there as a unit and get the job done this time. As for the West Central Trojans, there is Connor Marlott under center to start this one. The 12 year. Ball carriers stop behind the line of scrimmage. Great work by the Comets defensive line. Looks to me like a loss of a yard. Green pass, got in by number one, Addison Huber. Hubbard, excuse me. Looks like they picked up a few yards on that one. Third down and seven. Upcoming here for the Trojans. They're going to hand it off. They're getting out wide. Great blocking. And Man. a flag's on the field. One at the 45 and one at the 41. Holding on the defense. Let's see if the comics accept this one. And the Comets will accept. So still third down. They're going to run this one back, but the Trojans have a lot of yards to gain. Ten-yard penalty. Replay third down. Potentially a... Uh Great thing for the comments there, but we both have seen it just takes one play to burn down a lot of yards. Absolutely, and we got Flag. early flags. Might have been a false start. Looks like they're saying an illegal shift. So fourth and nine for the Trojans. See if they choose to punt this one. Looks like they are. They're in punt formation. Punter tonight is number 17, Austin Bolden, the 12-year. Punt is up and away. Beauty high in the air, and they're going to try to return this one. 
Jabez Yarer gains about five. Number seven, Jabez Yarber on the reserve. Tackle by number seven and number nine. The Comets will start their first offensive drive of the season at their own 28-yard line. First and ten. Collins have two out wide here. And we got a handoff. Possibly a gain of one or two. Positive gain of one there. Second and nine. Comments in the same formation. They're going to hand off the other way now to Kyle Routabush. He's going to get tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 12. Upcoming for this Comets team. QB keeper Gavin Molenkoff. Looks like he's going to make it just back to the line of scrimmage. In comes the punt team. Comet's punter tonight is number 66, Levi Martin. And we're going to have a delay of game called against the Comets. Oh, a fake. It's caught. But short of the marker. Now, if that delay of game hadn't have come into play, they might have been able to pick up that first down. But as we said before, one play can change the way a drive begins or ends. Yeah, and unfortunately, that puts the Trojans taking possessions deep in Comets territory. Comets defensive line was performing very well. First time on defensive side of the ball, let's see if they can do it again. Ball goes up the middle. Good tackle there by Gavin Molenkoff. Deep into the chains. Oh, and a QB option. He's going all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, West Central. 
not the way the Comets would have liked this game to start here tonight. And the Comets did meet the full, the um, running back at the line of scrimmage, but the quarterback just pulled that right out, and he took it all the way to the house. That's one thing as a defensive line. As a defensive lineman, you gotta you got to see the field and who has the football. Making tackles is great, but we got to see the football as well. Looks like they're going to be going for a two-point conversion right here. Rolling out and, and stopped. So with 6.20 left in the first, West Central draws first blood. Up 6-0 to zero over the Comets here in this season opener. We're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets set up to re receive the kickoff after that West Central touchdown just before the break. High kick. Caught by Grant Yade, and he's making his way down the sideline. He's found a gap. He found a huge gap. He can go. He, he can go. go all the way. And, and tripped by his shoelaces. Tripped up, and it looks right around the 13. That could be the spark the Comets offense was looking for. And that shrinks this field size down significantly from 100 all the way down to around 13. Hold on, Gage. Do I see a flag in the backfield here? That is unfortunate. That's holding on the return team. Way back at the 47. All right, and then they'll step it back off of that return or off that flag. Comets taking possession back at their own 37. <laughs> Molenkoff throws deep. Pass incomplete. Comet's got to hustle the line. They only got seven seconds to work with here. And they can't afford another delay a game call. We got a double handoff here. Couldn't quite get out of the chains, but got deep into them. Looks like they're at third and four. Ball on the Comets' own 44. We got a sweep to Jabez Yarber. And Yarber taken down at the line of scrimmage on the near sideline. Fourth and two. Upcoming for this cast and squad. Well, unfortunately, they can't use the punt team fake again. <laughs> that one might be out of the cards for this series. Grant Yaden up the middle. He's churning. He's going to get the first down. 
cleared it by a yard. All you gotta do is move those chains. That's right, any way possible, take the big body of Grant Yaden. You can work it right up the middle of the field, the 6'2", 205 pound tight end. Hey man, how, how many first downs were gained with uh, Gavin Hickle behind Sam Duvall, <laughs> who's now on the coaching staff, so. Oh, hey, that's holding, ref. How, how much are we allowed to pull somebody backwards like that? Uh, there are no canaries in the air. I guess, you know, that'll make it second and, and 12. I mean, did I see that wrong? <laughs> I think you're right there, but I guess it doesn't count if the official doesn't see it. That's true. There's always going to be misplays in the mm -hmm. game, but you do hey, the best you can. Look, Kobe Bryant was famous for knowing where the refs couldn't see. Ooh, tackled deep behind the line of scrimmage. West Central fans happy about that. Comments in a third and 17 situation. Ball in their own 42. Gavin Molenkoff getting outside the pocket, throws. They'll just get back to the line of scrimmage there. I mean, it was a good pass under tight pressure. Absolutely. But um, when you're backed up this far, it's hard to make big plays like that. Got just over two minutes remaining in this first quarter of play. Comet's going to send this one away. That was an absolute rocket there by the Comet special teams and a fair catch will be called. Fair catch called by number five, Josiah Rodriguez. No tackle. Fair catch. <laughs> First and ten, outside handoff. We got flags already on the on the field. Brought down by Gavin Molenkoff and Levi Martin. It's a flag on the offense. Illegal shift. They'll march him back. And the official who threw that was behind the Comets line. I was afraid that we had a, a potential neutral offside. zone. Yeah, a neutral zone violation. All right, is this five repeat first or ten repeat first? I believe it's a uh, repeat like it's, first. It looks like it's ten back repeat first. Yeah. 
Rick. I think it was the second penalty of the game. That clock just ran. <laughs> okay, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I heard uh, I heard the rest of them up here in the press box saying, uh, that's only a five-yard penalty. <laughs> so replay first down, first and 15 for the Trojans. We're going to get a quick handoff up the middle. The Comas defensive line is having none of that. Jacob Plarski, the ball carrier. Looks like they might have picked up a few yards on that. Puts them at about a second and 12. Ball on West Central's own 31 yard line. Excuse me, 29, I can count. It's been a long week, ladies and gentlemen. Long first week. We got an outside run here. Oh, and a big tackle on the near side. A number five, Gavin Molenkoff. We got flags down again on this drive. Oh, and we've got West Central player holding a shin. Yeah, that's Jacob Polarski. He went down hard right there on that last play. Let's hope it's just a cramp and he's able to get up. Maybe, but he wasn't holding his calf. He was holding no. his shin. That was a big tackle there by Gavin Molenkoff. Uh The sophomore measures in at 5'11", according to the roster, 160, but he just hit like a freight train gauge. Absolutely. I've seen it in the weight room all day after school. And we're all thankful that Jacob's able to get up and walk under his own power back to the sideline. All right, well, let's get a call on these flags. Oh, it looks like they're marching the football back. It was on the offense. Ball clear back on the Trojans 15 yard line. No, it was a holding play, or it was a holding call. <clears throat> West Central now, second and 25, just under 80 seconds left here in the first quarter. We now officially get that call in the official. It is indeed a holding penalty on the Trojans. Five, ten yard penalty. Replay second down. They're going to run it right up the middle. And a fumble on the play, and Jabez Yarber has the ball. Big play there for the Comets. I'm confident that play will stand. His knee did not touch the ball, did not touch the ground, and Yarber right there to make a play. That is great situational awareness. Uh, Mid-dog pile, see a ball pop free and be able to switch momentum and get on top of it. Absolutely, as a linebacker, you have to have the quick reflexes to make that play. And this Comets offense will start with, once again, um, Pretty good field position. Absolutely. They're right on the border of the red zone. Molenkoff hands it off. Number 
That was a lot of distance covered to pick up a couple yards. Absolutely, that was Kyle Routabush. The senior, six foot, 210 pounds. He's one of those players you can truly put anywhere on a football field. He's got the speed to play running back and the strength to play on the defense, on the defensive side. They're going to go hand off to Grant Yaden. Up the middle. Did he put a yard on that? Put a couple yards on it. Gain a three, possibly. Third and one. That might just be the end of the first quarter. Yeah, I wouldn't try to rush a play if I was the Comets. Now with 20 seconds on the uh, play clock. So at the end of one, it's West Central six, cast and zero. Be back after these words from our sponsors to watch more first half action. Coming to you live from the Comet Crater here on RTC TV4. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to start the second quarter. Uh, West Central with a one touchdown advantage over your home Comets. Comets are at third and one on the West Central 11 yard line. I wouldn't be surprised if the Comet tried to utilize Grant Yaden again on this play. He's done a very good job carrying the football already. I wouldn't be surprised to hand it to one of those big guys and try to get it right up the middle. You've got a down of wiggle room to try it. Flag here. Potential false start here on the Comets. And it is, so they'll march back five here and replay third down. Third and six. Comets under 10 seconds on the play clock. They can ill afford a delay a game. Got to get that snap off, boys. And there's that delay a game. Coach Ulrich can't be happy. Thomas now third and 11 outside the chains. <clears throat> Molenkoff rolling out. Oh, and he's going to get brought down deep in the backfield. We got a flag Oof. on the field. Late one, too. Possible in sport. Oh, we got roughing. Oh, intentional grounding on Molenkoff there. I don't know. That was a scoop pass, but he did have potential receivers in the trajectory. You know what? I, I guess I don't have to like it, do I? <laughs> Sadly, we can't change any calls up here. So, come is now fourth and 26. Got a quarterback keeper, and Volkoff is going to lose yardage right there. Lose the yard and we'll have a turnover on down. Oh, 
Got a quarterback option again, threading the needle, and he's still on his feet. Cut back, and we got a flag down on the field. Kyle Rodebush eventually brings him down after a gain of around 15. Well, let's see what that flag is before we... I'm afraid that might have been a holding against the Comets. I know I saw a hold that maybe didn't get called. Hold on the offense. Not the way I saw that call going. So erase the part of the yard, erase the positive yardage. We're gonna have a replay of first down, first and fifteen for this West Central squad. up the middle and he's brought down after a gain of around three. Tackled by Kyle, Kyle Routebush. Gage was that, that was only the, I think the second play this quarter without a flag. <laughs> now grant you we're only just over a minute into the quarter but. That's true. Out of about five plays, we've had three flags. QB Got keeper. Run out of bounds by Ashton Boyer. Third and five there. Spins right off of the tackle of Pete Duvall. It would have wrestled him to the ground. Fourth down, upcoming for the Trojans. Fourth and five on their own 43. They're going to go for this one. <laughs> you might have just got another illegal shift. <laughs> Gage Manier. Gage Manier watches the illegal shift happen. And he says, where's the false start, ref? Yeah, he was pretty adamant about that one. He really wanted that call. So fourth and nine. Now it looks like they're going to bring on the punting unit. Jabez Yarber at around the 28-yard line to receive. That's going to bounce right to him. He's going to return this one. He's going down the sideline. He's still on his feet. Brought out of bounds at West Central's 45. You know, the best thing about that, player, what, about that play was no flag on that one. <laughs> it's the third play of the quarter. <laughs> Absolutely, but all credit goes to um, Jabez Yard just being able to get out of that tackle and pick up just around eight or nine more yards to tack on to the end of that Is one. he still down on the sideline? I see Jordan Zook, our trainer. Oh, yes, that is him. 
He was sp spun pretty hard going out of bounds, so hopefully it didn't tweak his back or anything. Sending Gavin Molenkoff up to the huddle. Miscommunication there at the change unit. But um, Jabez Yarder is okay. Looks like he possibly just got the wind knocked out of him there. He's smiling. I see him. <laughs> Ooh, caught at the knees. Brought down at the line of scrimmage. Oh, excuse me. He picked up a yard. Credit where credit's due. Gage, you let me down. You told me last season you'd always call out those one-yard gains. Absolutely. <laughs> it, is my, it is my first one of the year, so. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I almost forgot what this little aluminum thing in front of me is called. I think it's a computer. <laughs> Definitely was behind the eight balls we got set up today. Ooh. Molenkoff under pressure, breaks the first, but he's brought down. Wasn't able to get rid of that one. Ooh, third and 16 now for the Comets. Actually pushed back into their own backfield. Caston using a timeout to preserve that penalty. So we'll step away for just a word from our sponsors. Come back for more second quarter action here from the Comic Creator on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Elsewhere in RTC coverage, uh, Rochester currently up 24 0 over Wabash. About 11 minutes left in the first half. Nolankoff throws off his back foot, and it's caught. It's by caught? Oh, my goodness. What hands by Grant Yaden. We've seen him pull down balls like that before. With two guys on him, left and right that side. Was, that was huge. Like we said before, he is 6'2", and he's a big body. When you have a type of body like that, you're just able to get over people, and Gavin Molenkoff lobs it right into his hands. Let's see if that can spark some, some good here for the Comets. West Central to use a timeout after that. So we're going to step away one more time. Thank our sponsors. You're watching Casting Comments Football here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bonkoff, back to pass. Right back to Grant Yaden. He lunges Great play forward. There. Molenkoff had ages there in the pocket. Like I said before, credit where credit's due. Offensive line did a great job blocking that time. That might be the recipe for this Comet squad. Get up there three or four yards and let your receivers try to gain on extra yards on top of that. Won't cough to pass again. Oh, now he's in trouble and brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Flag on the play. Okay. 
Holding on the Comets. Still some words being exchanged here by the refs trying to work out this call. And they're going to decline the penalty. I'm assuming there were multiple penalties on the play. They are relaying that information. All right, so that puts the comments at third and ten then. Handoff. Gain of two. Third and nine here for Molenkoff in this offense. Molenkoff to pass, ball is in jeopardy. And Comets have been in striking distance here a few times this evening and just not able to kind of get that final push in yeah, the red zone. Absolutely. We've seen him gain 30, 40 yards down the field, but in order to get six on the board, you got to take it all the way. We've seen sparks of some potential touchdowns and some great plays, but things aren't clicking yet. Just over six minutes remaining in this first half of play. Speaking of six on the board, uh, it's 20-minute old, but I do see that uh, Pioneer Panthers down 6 nothing to Lewis Cass at the end of the first a little while ago. Handoff up the middle. Jacob Polarski back on the field. That's a good sight to see. Just under half of the second to play. Second and five remaining for this Trojans team. They're going to hand off up the middle again. I think it will be about a yard short. Yes, they will mark him short just by a yard. See if this Comets defensive line can make a stand here. I honestly think if, if uh, officials had been in about any other arrangement on the field, he might have gotten away with moving the chains on that. His knees did, in fact, contact at where they called it, but uh, it looked like a good roll if you didn't have that kind of view into the play. <clears throat> Flag on the field. We might see an offside here on the Comets. Oh, false start. So Trojans will be marked back in a replay of third. Third and six here. 
Tim quarterback to go up keeper. Them. And how about that tackle? Right there by Levi Martin, the senior. He went after him there on that tackle. If it was his second late. Quarterback would have got outside the markers. Possibly could have taken it for a big distance there. But Levi able to wrap him up. Bring him down for a round of loss of one, it says. So fourth and seven here for the Trojans. Trojans set to punt it away. And the kick goes out of bound at the Comets, 38. Just under four to play here in the first half. See what Comets can put together. It's the same set of drives and possibly reach the end zone for six. Be great to have it at least tied up at half. And off to Routabush. Routabush almost makes it back to the line of scrimmage. Defense just really read that play. Loss of two there on the play. Second down and 12. Bowling cough back to throw, slinging it out. Yarber, what a wow. catch! He had a dive back for that one. They're at the 38 yard line. Molenkopf was reading him all the way and they were able to connect. In spite of everything else tonight, Gage, we've had some big first down passes made by the sophomore here today. Absolutely, and when we needed them to. And they only got 40 yards to go. Just under three minutes to do it. Play clock's running down here. And got brought down maybe with a gain of a yard. Ah, I'm calling him short. That was a gain of two. Comets seem to be in no rush here. Still got two minutes to get into the end zone, but that time is ticking. Well, you'd think that with two delay of game penalties, uh, Coach Ulrich would uh, would be lighting the kindling. Under four seconds. Need that snap. There it is. Volnkoff rolling out wide. Checks it down to Rick. Routabush. Routabush, Routabush is going to move the chains. For not only moving the chains, but he's out of bounds, so the clock will stop. We've seen that play work a lot. Molenkoff can get outside of the pocket. He can just lay it up to one of his receivers and let him try to pick up some yards after a catch. I was a little concerned there. Uh, defender let through on the left side. We've seen that fall apart for him, but Molenkoff able to make a good connection on that one. Under two minutes left here in the second. Comments and call timeout here. Well, we're going to step away and thank our sponsors. Come back, see how this first half wraps up. You're watching Cast and Comments Football here on RTC TV 4. I think passing might be the formula for this offense. Molenkoff. 
Brought down for a loss of four. Eighty seconds left here in the first half. Coming into single digits on the play clock. Comets cannot afford another delay a game call. They're gonna hand this one off. Uh, Chase Angot gets back up to the original line of scrimmage. Comets will use their last timeout here before intermission. Score currently is 6-0, 54 seconds left. Fourth down and 13 for the Comets. And we'll come back after this commercial break. Stay tuned to see how the first half wraps up. This is Cast and Comets Football on RTC TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just under one minute here in the first half. Comets still down, one TD to none. Looking to put six on the board before they go into the locker room. Molenkoff, deep pass, into triple coverage. It's, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, we got a P.I. I'm going to just assume that was it. Late flag. I believe that the in-house announcer agrees with you. because he, <laughs> <laughs> he went ahead and was going to go ahead and call that pass interference. And that is, in fact. Comments get that first down, then. Now, I'm not sure if it's a... Uh, um, I believe it's an automatic first down, right? I do. It is an automatic first down, but I'm not sure if it's a mark off of 15 or it's at the spot of the penalty. It looks like it's a mark of 15. Automatic first down for the Comet squad. So first and 10 on West Central's 14. Volnkoff rolling out. He's up. Another flag. That just might be another pass interference. We'll have to see, though. I heard holding on comments. We'll see what they call it. I believe you are right, Blair. So a loss of five, but on the positive side, the clock does stop, so the Comets are able to take full advantage of setting up their next play here. A double handoff here. Jadabush up the middle. Comets have to hustle. Comets are going to try to spike it here. Comets have to pay attention to that play clock. Trickles into the single digits. Absolutely, they got to get set. They're going three out wide here. Molenkoff rolling out. He's going to throw it. Uh, pass incomplete. Lucius Edston was the targeted receiver there. 
right at 17 seconds to play in the half. Comet's got one more play. You can only think that this one's going to be a shot at the end zone. Long cough. Ball's in the air. It's and caught. That's caught 4 6. But a flag. That might be offensive pass interference on Grant Yaden, but we're going to have to see. Indeed it will. So the joy was short-lived for the Comets team. But it looks like they're going to have one more shot to get this into the end zone. There's still some conversation out there on the field. Comments now fourth and a whole lot. Already a flag. They're in a lateral. Two point eight seconds left on the clock. Flag on the field. It's a heads up play there by the comments to lateral it backwards and pick up some more yards. We'll see if this one stays. So the flag was on the Comets, and they will, of course, decline that and take over the ball with just under three seconds remaining. See if they need this one or go for one, one big shot to hopefully get into the end zone. They're in the kneeling formation. They will, in fact, kneel, and that will be the end of the first half. Jabez Yarber to receive the second half kickoff, and Austin Bolton kicking it off here for the Trojans. Trojans lead 6 0 as the second half gets underway. Really flat kick there into the middle of the Comets. I believe that was, oh, that was Levi Martin. So good opening field position for the for the Comets this second half. And off to Routabush to start this second half. Routabush runs into a wall, finds a hole, keeps churning. That was an impressive gain of yards. Yeah, I thought it was stopped in his tracks. He just kept on churning his legs. They would have picked up about three or four more yards on top of that.
Brings it to second and four. Comets now knocking on the door of Trojans territory. Couple plays like that, a couple of the big passes we saw in the first half. Molenkoff keeps it himself. Picked up some yards. It's about a one yard gain. Excuse me, two yard gain. Third and one. What do you think, straight up the middle? Absolutely, it's worked for them tonight. They're gonna go on the outside here with Yarber. Looks like he'll be short. Getting back, pick up maybe around a foot or so. So fourth and inches. Upcoming here for the Comets, see if they can just cross that threshold and keep this drive going. Grant Yaden is in the Wildcat. I think we all know what's going to happen here. Right up the middle, he's going. West Central is waiting for it. I don't think it's going to happen. Turnover on downs just outside of Trojans territory. These are negotiating whether we're in the change unit out. <laughs> the officials are going to bring. The... I mean, I like the vote of confidence. Yeah, but, absolutely. But it's pretty obvious from where we're sitting. Now, if the chain unit will just stagger a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping the chain gang can get their steps in for the day. Yeah, this one's going to be around a full yard short. Gage, I, I question the necessity of walking the chains out there. <laughs> Got to build the suspense every now and then. All right, Trojans with a fresh set of downs on the Comets, 48. Comets defense looking to stop them again. First look at the Trojans offense here to start this second half. Right up oh, to the right side. Found a hole. See if Molenkoff can catch him. He's... Gonna get well, that's going to go all the way. And not so much as a flicker of yellow on the field. going for two, but Volnkoff able to stop him. <laughs> All right, Comets. First and ten on their own 45. 
Long coughed under her pressure. Wow. And Grant Yaden, another reception for him for the day, and Mullenkopf able to hang in there and deliver that pass. That is tough to do, especially when you just know you're going to get hit. Threading the needle several times tonight, and the Comets have unfortunately not been able to like string those together in a way to be productive and get into the end zone. But with Mullenkopf being only a sophomore, Gage, he's got two more years. He's got the rest of this season Absolutely. and then two more seasons. I'm just seeing a huge passing game in the future for the Comets, and I don't know that the competition's going to know what to do with it. Chase Angott moving the chains. It's a good move by him to get around eight or nine yards. The right side of the field. Great vision, seeing those openings move. Fluid movement, make your way through. And Anga, he's got that speed, he's got the power. You know, he wrestles in the winter and then he runs, he's a sprinter on the track team in the spring. Just really comes together well on the football field. Absolutely. I've also noticed Thomas are doing a lot better managing their, their play clock. And Jabez Yarder, Yarber up the field might be another first down. If it's not, it's super close. The Comets finally making substantial progress here on the offensive side of the ball. I think, I think he might have actually made that first down. Well, West Central's going to use a timeout. <laughs> Probably can get in the huddle and talk about what, where did this Comets team come from? Yeah, they're putting together an impressive drive here. To not being able to get that fourth and one. Just come down here and they just answered on their second drive. I think I see the official gesturing to move the chain. There it is. So I say, if that's second, it's second in inches. <laughs> I've just, maybe I shouldn't say it, but I gotta say it. That one was so much closer than when they Absolutely. brought the chains out last time. <laughs> oh, and I see West Central coach jogging over with some mustard. I just. As a coach who just had a parent meeting today, and one of our agenda items was hydration, it just frustrates me to no end. I mean, we've all had those nasty Charlie horses lock up, and just as a coach, as somebody who's looked into uh, you know, performance nutrition and knowing that hydration and electrolytes will go a long way to even preventing that from, from happening, it, it just... I feel bad for the guy who's down on the ground having to eat mustard, but on the same token, it's like, come on, get some water in through the day, guys. Yeah, my mom has, she has this ginormous, like almost gallon, just, and it has those little listings like 7 a.m. wake up, yeah. and then 9 a.m. start drinking, and then so on. And don't get me wrong, in spite of that, I've, I've eaten more than my share of uh, yellow mustard to get, get those emergency cramp releases. I can thankfully say I haven't had to do that. Hope it never does happen, but... Uh, just this last summer, I don't, I don't remember what we'd done. We'd gone a cross-country training run, and I got home, and I was just wiped out, took a nap. I woke up and stretched, and my cat or my quad just felt like I was trying to pull my knee to my pelvis, <laughs> hobbling into the kitchen. <laughs> All right, we're gonna come near side. Good Yarber. little shuffle. Oh, gets tripped. An athletic that, move. That yeah. might work against him, though. Trying to jump over a defender. I've seen. I've seen a touchdown declined here in the common crater. So we're going to see. It looks like they're just going to let it ride, and I'm happy with it. 
Yeah, I believe he was in the process of falling. He was lunging forward, so fortunate to avoid that penalty. Yeah. Yeah, where Sam Smith actually <laughs> hurdled hurdled a defender and just ran on into the end zone. We're going to come this near side again. Yarber just working it on his own up on this right side of the field. They've, comments have tried to get to the outside, but they just haven't been able to get there in time. They're blocking up the right side of the field instead of out, and that's really allowing them to tack on these extra yards, and they're just having a phenomenal drive here, and they just entered the red zone. Well over half of the third quarter remaining. Let's see if the Comets can complete this drive and punch into the Trojans' end zone. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't go back to Yarber. He's been phenomenal this drive, and it looks like he's... I get backed up for the first time this drive. Was that back at the line of scrimmage, it looks like? I do believe so. I believe he got back to the line of scrimmage. So leave second and ten. All right. Well, comments. West Central has read that one. Time to reach into the bag of tricks and go to something else that's been working tonight. I think it's a good time to put it in the air, personally. Absolutely. You've seen these passes. They've opened up right down the middle of the field. We can just... Oh, no. Into the hands of Routabush. He'll add some yards on to the... Oh, we got a flag. I believe that will be on sportsmanlike conduct. Not sure on which team, though. Personal foul on the defense. So we're going to get some more yards on top of that. And personal foul, that's automatic first down, isn't it? I do believe so. Although there was some pushing and shoving there, I don't, I don't believe it was, it was that serious. You're obviously going to have some guys who are going to get heated. And uh, it's always good to keep them in line, but at the same time, you've got to let them play a little bit. Let them have some emotion. But either way, it is a first down, so shouldn't be complaining that much. All right, Comets first and goal, seven to go. First first and goal, the game. See if they can get in here for six. I don't think there's any reason not to go back to Yarber. He's put this drive together seemingly by himself with the help of the offensive line. He's and cutting he back, going to the outside. And there it is. He knew he was getting there before he even reached there, pointed his finger to the air. And the Comets cut the deficit in half. I'd like to point out on this drive that that clock management was completely flawless. There wasn't any time that that Comets team felt rushed. There wasn't any time that they felt like they couldn't get the snap off. And we know the result is six points on the board. I'm sure that was a major point of conversation in the locker room at halftime uh, with two uh, delay of game calls and two timeouts burned to save more delay of game calls. I I'm sure Coach Ulrich made sure to point out that that needed to not happen in the second 24 minutes play. Hand it right back to Yarber. He's going to be sure. Comets kicking off for the first time after a touchdown here tonight. That's Great to see Grant Yaden <clears throat> get off the field under his own power. Goes back to the conversation we had shortly before that. Yeah. Make sure you got fluids in your body. Electrolytes. It's like the uh, sports nutrition people down at University of Florida figured it out in the 70s or something. Uh-huh. Sunshine Gatorade was invented, I believe, as well. Yep, that's that's what I was talking about. That's why it's called Gatorade. It's for the Florida Gators. Yep. Things I learned, actually, a lot more recently than I'd like to admit. And that'll roll out of bounds. 
Illegal procedure for the roll out of bounds. They should take that at the 35. All right, now I am curious, though, why is it that the last kickoff to the Comets that rolled out of bounds wasn't flagged illegal proceedings? Did the Comets happen to touch it before it went out, or was there something I missed? Because it was right down on the close side, right around the, the team, so it was hard to see what happened. Quarterback keeper. Kept Routabush. him in the chains. Routabush had a great opportunity to meet him behind the line, but um, Connor Merlot just was able to get out of that one. Gain of four. And officials timeout. That is the quarterback, Connor Malott. Looks like they're massaging a calf. Now there's a Comet down on the field at around the 43. That is Levi Martin. Looks like he might be stretching as well. There's Levi Martin on his under his own power, as well as Marlott. Ooh, and Marlott's back down. That's one of those not letting go. They're going to carry him off the field. Well, that's never good when you end up carried off the field. I mean, that could have been possibly more than a cramp then. Now we hope he gets to getting better and possibly can finish this one out. Well, looking through the roster, look, West Central is going second string. I believe that will be number 10, the freshman Nathan Peter. However, I, I can't see who's actually back in the gun on the field. That is Spencer Lehman, I believe. Yep, Spencer Lehman. Comets just met him at the line there. Noah Hurd's first tackle of the night. Yep, that is Spencer Lehman, the senior, and at six feet, six feet tall, 170. See what he can put together in the third down. Hands it off to the outside. It's enough to move the chains. Going deep into Comets territory. Finally brought down right outside the red zone. He's possibly short from the red zone. Maybe a yard. 
I believe that was in the hands of senior Austin Bolin. That was a big first down for the Trojans. I was just getting ready to say that, you know, having to, having to shift to a second string or, or later quarterback, especially for a small school, can be a huge difference in play on the field. Another run going towards the outside, Ooh. and he's met by a crew of Comets. Levi Martin brings him down to the ground, but multiple Comets met him there first. The Comets has done a lot better job this second half defending the sidelines, and as a result, almost all of the runs that um, West Central's had to go to is up the middle. West Central using a timeout. I do see, uh, I did notice Connor Merlot jogging back and forth on the sidelines. This might be West Central taking the opportunity to sub him back in. Not sure. He's still over by their hydration station, so. <clears throat> Elsewhere in Hoosier North play at the half, the North Judson Blue Jays leading the Culver Cavaliers 27 to zero. <clears throat> Drops back the pass over the middle and it's caught. Touchdown, West Central. Well, I just got my answer on what the uh, timeout strategy was, I think. Trojans attempt to go straight up the middle. Once again, though, the Comets own all of the timeouts left on the board here. Comets going sweep action with Landon Rigney, who's finding the sideline. And great job there by the freshman. How about that for your first carry in high school? Yeah, that was tackled by Connor Marlott, quarterback for West Central. I think I just saw another official timeout as the Comets have a man down. Rigney able to get the ball clear down to the 27. Just, just north of the two-minute warning. Unable to see who's down for the Comets. That was Jabez Yarber being helped out by the coaching staff and number 53 Noah Hurd. See, he might have tweaked his ankle a little bit. Uh, looked like a calf cramp to me. 
I'm no physical therapist, so I, you're probably right. <laughs> Don't give me that much credit. <laughs> I'm doing good to know that the, the knee bone's connected to the shin bone, man. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really pay attention that much in health. Coming near side. Ooh, nearly tackled by the shoelaces. Finds a hole. Kyle Routup. Wow, wow, still on his feet. Trucks a man. Oh, brought down just shy. However, put out of bounds. I do see a flag on the field. That was right at the tackle. Possibly. Possibly holding. A variety of many things that could have happened. Holding. Yeah. Unnecessary roughness. I don't know. It looks like uh, Blake Hughes, is, Hughes of the Trojans. Was, he's limping a little bit. You got a horse collar on the defense. That is, of course, when you grab inside the player's armor pads in order to try to bring him down. That is never a safe way to get a player down. Well, that's a horse collar at the one-yard line. I mean, what do we do with that? I mean, they're not going to give him yardage, right? Absolutely do anything to get him out of the end zone. Give him back to Landon Rigney. He's going to be stopped short. If I'm the Comets, I'm just going to give it to the big man, Great Yate, and like he's done many times tonight, just try to work it right up the middle. Comets now second and goal. Three to go, it looks like. Under 90 seconds now left in the quarter. 20 seconds on the play clock. Once again, Comets doing a much better job of managing that play clock this half. Absolutely, and on their drives they've had. They've they've gotten down the field. Going on the outside. Route of Bush brought down well behind the line of scrimmage. Thomas now third and goal, ten to go. Under a minute. Fifteen seconds on the play clock. I'm going to expect a pass here from Molenkoff. He will. He's under center. Throwing a fade towards Yaden. It's and caught. it's good. Touchdown Comets. And that is Gavin Molenkoff's first career passing touchdown, I believe. And everything is turning the gold for this Comets offense. That's what you guys wanted. You guys wanted a quick score, and they were able to deliver right there. Coming off of the two-point conversion. Comets are going to have one out wide here. They're going to do a quarterback keeper with Molenkoff, but Stop short. It almost seems like for the Comets and West Central, there's some one-upsmanship going. You've seen uh, West Central go down, Comet goes down and score, and they've just been trading touchdowns. That was a great spin there in the backfield by Josiah Rodriguez. Unfortunately, he lost his footing. Well, unfortunately for him as a Comets fan. <laughs> well, that's less unfortunate. And so the Trojans take possession just outside their own red zone. That was Ashton Boyer making that tackle. One, another one of these young freshmen who have just had an um, impressive debut here for the Comets. And Boyer's one of those guys that would be really easy to underestimate out on the football field. Uh, but he certainly punches above his weight. Absolutely. And West Central hit with a delay a game. You could see Connor a lot telling his guys that we need to get that snap off. They just seem to be maybe just half a second late. <clears throat> I 
The official's a little slow to blow that one penalty. First and 15 here for the Trojans. Outside handoff. How about that tackle by Levi Martin? That was clutch. Blair, if Levi Martin wasn't there, I think they possibly could have taken that all the way. Possibly. There was, a, there was a big opening. The ball carrier was headed for Levi Martin. Quickly closed that. Wrapped him up, spun him down. Yeah, it was tremendous blocking up the field by the Trojans wide receivers. But Levi Martin was just faster and able to be there and make the play. Un He's under 10 seconds on the clock. All right. Huh? Okay. We're going to go with second and 13. I thought that they burned their second down, but... I reserve the right to be wrong. Outside sweep here. The Comet's able to make the tackle. Great tackle there by Ashton Boyer. It is really hard to tell from over here whether they made the line to gain or not. It looks like they're going to be just short. Still a big gain of yards on that. Like third and one. So this Comets defensive line will need to have to make a stand <clears throat> here to prevent moving of the chains. It's like Levi Martin for the Comets is down again, possibly just stretching. Definitely have a Trojans player down getting calf massaged. Another player getting getting mustard squeezed right between the right between the bars on his helmet. Not the way I like to get my electrolytes. It's what you call a mouthful of regret. <laughs> And that was Trojans number 17, Austin Bolin. Yep, the wide receiver defensive end and the kicker for the Trojans squad. Let's see if the Comets can hopefully get a stop here on third and one. Make an interesting fourth down situation. Ideally, Comets can down them in the backfield, put them in a punt situation. It's a handoff, and I don't think he got there. All refs are saying he made it. They're going to move the change. Trojans using every second of this clock. I don't know if they realize that. Looks like they're going now. Once again, going towards the outside. There's space. We got a penalty bounds. flag. Grant Yaden's pointing 
at the Trojans unit. Comments are clapping. They believe they got possibly a holding call. Holding against the Trojans. That's not the first big, big yardage we've seen get called back. Of course, that um, kickoff return there by Yaden, he almost took all the way to the house during the beginning of the game. That one gets called back as well. So first and I want to say 20. Yep. Another run up the middle and a fumble. The Comets. Uh, I think West Central covered it. Trojans extremely fortunate they were able to pick that one back up. You had two to three Comets in the vicinity to pick that one up. And every last one of them diving for it. Absolutely a sigh of relief for the West Central Trojans. They actually gained yards on that play. Yeah, I think that we're at second and 17. It's an awful long way to count. Wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. That is Cameron McFatridge, another freshman, making a statement in this game. Third down and 17 to go. They're dropping back. Big pass. And it's caught. Landon Rigney was right there trying to make a play, but he was just mere inches away from tipping that one. That would have been a huge pick for the Comets if they could have made that happen. See if the commas can answer on the defensive side of the ball. Hand up up the middle. Got a gain of five. That was was Pete the ball with the assistance of Gavin Molenkoff bringing that Trojan to the ground. Outside sweep here for the Trojans. There's a gap, and what a hit by Grant Yaden. Cowan's defense needs a big stop here. Ball nearing the midpoint of Comets territory. Quarterback keeper up the sideline. and We got flags, flags all over now. the place. Dude, that might have been a holding call. And they're already calling it, yes, a holding call on the Trojans. So once again, positive yardage taken off from a Trojans drive via holding penalties. Holy 
campaign against my sexual. We're at that point in the field when you can almost fully expect that the Trojans will be using all four downs to try to advance the ball. So Absolutely. The clock is their friend. They're going to use every second of the play clock, especially as long as the game clock's running. Absolutely. As a comment, you want to get four, four and out right here and get your offense back in the motion. Oh, that was... That was great usage of the man in motion and the hard count to psych out the Comets. Neutral zone infraction, gonna move the ball back forward. West Central back to first and ten. Josh back to throw. It's Got long. Multiple open people in a catch. I cannot believe that catch. Got a flag once again after the play was over. Are they call an unsportsman. It is unsportsmanlike conduct on the Trojans. Penalty to be assessed on the kickoff. In the Comets' last offensive dive, that was a quick score. But you got to think when you're when you go out there and you get the ball, you got to be thinking you got to score even faster now and then get a stop. Absolutely, given the fact that we've already gone through nearly half of the fourth quarter. And looks like he's Trojans once again not able to breach the end zone. There's a late flag. Now on the bright side for the comments, you do have three timeouts. That's absolutely true. All right, what, what's the, are we going to define the flag? Did you see the penalty? I did not. I saw the flag go up, but. Personal foul on the Comets. Is that going to offset the kickoff penalty? I am not sure. Well. I don't know. I guess we'll find out after these words from our sponsors. Half the fourth quarter remains here on RTC TV4. Looking for a way to relax and decompress after a long day? Stop on into Kriskin's and browse their wide variety of hot tubs. Whatever size you might need, Kriskin's got you covered. Or maybe you're just looking to install a nice fireplace to cozy on up to during the cool evenings. If so, Kriskin's got you covered on that too. Call 574 857 3100 or stop on in at 7448 Liberty Avenue in Fulton to see how Kriskins can help you. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Number 17, Bowen kicking off with West Central. Back to the comments, number 10, Jaden Jordan. All right, so there's a penalty to be assessed on the kickoff, but then there was that personal foul against the Comets, so I don't know if that offsets or not. They're going to do an onside. I believe the Comets covered it. I don't believe that traveled 10 yards. Probably more yardage tacked on at the end of this. 
So the Commons did cover it. it. Was Landon Rigney, another one of these freshmen, able to recover that one? I'm not really sure if that was necessary by the Trojans kicking unit. I mean, your offensive played great all day, and you just gave the Comets tremendous field, tremendous uh, field position to start their downs. And especially when you've got a two touchdown advantage in a game that's only seen six total touchdowns anyway. Absolutely. The game plan for the Comets would be to try to get out of bounds most as possible and save those three timeouts if they get a chance um, for another offensive play after this. Molenkoff dropping back to throw, looking for Grant Yaden. That would be overshot. Comets, second and ten. On West Central's 49. Passing plays are definitely in the cards here for the Comets. You guys, uh, they have to try to get a quick score as quick as possible. We'll do a handoff to Routabush. Routerbush still going. He's able to clear over out of bounds. So the clock stops. It's like a seven yard gain. Maybe eight. We'll say eight. I'm feeling generous. Third and two. Yep. They're going to sweep it with Yarber, and he is indeed going to get the first down. They're going to have to hustle now. Cannot afford to get any delay of game penalties. Furthermore, the clock is not the Comets' friend. Definitely need to be running hurry-up offense here. Ideally getting the snap off before 15 seconds. Just crossed the halfway mark of the quarter. We're going to come near side. They're going to continue running. Landon Rigney. Uh, I don't know if he gained anything. It was a yard. Oh, no. Loss of, loss of a yard. Second and 11. Ball on 38. Five and a half minutes. Low snap. Oh, and Molenkoff hands it off. Yarber. Hard to see if he stayed in bounds or if he crossed over. The clock is stopped. And that'll be a first down for the Comets. <laughs> Yarber able to move the ball up to the West Central 26. 5'10 on the stop clock. Comets can run or pass here. They have options. You're going to choose the run up the left side. Yarber ends up running into the back of his own blocker. Yarber's down. Excuse me. Yarber's fine. Cannot see the jersey number on that comment. It is Levi Martin who is on the ground. 
Martin been down stretching several times tonight, I think. Again, yeah. dealing with some leg cramps. Absolutely, but the Comets definitely have needed him this game. He's provided many runs and tackles. He'll take a break this play. Clock's running. We're under five minutes. 20 seconds on the play clock. Come the comments. I'm going to be taking a shot at the end zone here. They're handed off to Yarber. Yarber's going to cut up field. I believe that might be enough to move the chains. It's hard to see. He's going to come up just short. Comets hurrying back to the huddle. Third and one. It's like they're right around the wet red zone boundary, maybe just inside. Molenkoff to pass. Oh. Incomplete. Right on target, just overshot. Just over four minutes on the clock. Fourth and one on the 16-yard line. If you're a Comet, you're just going to try to get this first down just to keep this drive going. Runs have worked in their favor. 15 seconds on the play clock. They cannot afford to delay a game. As the play clock shifts into single digits, they're on the line. They are going to try to run it. He's met at the line. That might be enough. Hold him forward. They're saying it's enough. It's going to be a first down Comets. Trojans on the field arguing. The defensive units came out now. Oh, you nope. Know, yeah, no. That was a turnover on downs. If you're the comments right now, you're, the, you're thinking one thing, and it's get a turnover. Got a flag down. Pride face mask tackle. Oh, that was a hold on against West Central. Completely misread that potential penalty. That's all good news for the Comets. The Comets going to burn the first of their timeouts, I believe. We, the refs, are debating whether the play clock starts on the snap or starts on the play clock. Well, furthermore, shouldn't the ball spot have moved with that penalty? Evidently not. Looks like the play clock will continue to run. Do an outside handoff here. Comet's going for the football. Not able to jostle it free. It's 
Looks like we'll be at third and six. The Comets still are in this ball game. They can potentially get a turnover or a punt, go down and score, and then use their timeouts. Again, clock, though, squarely in West Central Corner. They're using just about every second of that play clock. Good spin. I think he tripped on his own lineman. <laughs> That is a first down. <laughs> Two and a half minutes left to play. Comets using their first time out of the half. We're going to take a break. Come back to see how we conclude here on RTC. TV. Three minutes of timeouts available, provided that the Comets called them. Yeah, absolutely. Football is one of the very definitions of a game of time management. How well can you have the football in your possession while being able to score touchdowns? If you look at stats across NFL teams and many college football teams, you'll see that the team who has the football in the possession the longest ends up winning the football game. Yep. West Central here able to move the chains again. Pete Duvall with another stop on the stat sheet there. Under two minutes remain in this game. Boy, that looked like a major neutral zone infraction. Wait, did they just say timeout West Central? to the comment creator, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Trojans have very clear control over this one. We get good yardage up the middle with Jacob Polarski. He's had a good night running the ball, being there when his team needs it. 
And it looks like West Central now third and two in Comets territory. More critically, the game clock ticking down towards 60 seconds remaining. My guess is West Central is going to work to move the chains one more time and then knee the game out. Absolutely. And I believe the Comets there. are going to let them move those chains. 42 yeah. seconds on the clock. Yeah. One kneel down, that will be the end of this one, folks. Looks like they're not even going to need it. Just going to finish this one out. I mean, it'll go in the books as a penalty here. <laughs> the officials aren't even going to bother calling that penalty. They knew what was coming. Uh, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, your final score here tonight, West Central 24, cast in 12. Uh, in spite of the... Uh, undesirable final scores for the Comets fans. There's a lot to celebrate here tonight, Gage. Uh, there's